This is Twit. Welcome to the new season of Know How, Know How IoT. You're already a little way through, so hopefully you're enjoying what Flo and I are doing. This is your first tour of my smart home, or my smart crib, as I like to call it. Let's go. First, let's start in the car. I have a owl cam. We'll get to automotive stuff in a later episode, but just know that uh, if you get near my car, you're being recorded. Oh, also, if you get near my house, you're also being recorded. This is the Nest Cam IQ. It recognizes my face, it recognizes my friends and my family's faces, it recognizes my dog, and it doesn't recognize strangers, so it will alert me if a stranger comes in my house. Welcome to the inside of my smart home. This is the Schlage Smart Lock, which happens to be the only device I have that works with HomeKit. So I could lock it like this, boring, or I could do this, hey, lock the door. I'm on it, your front door is locked. Or I could use the Home app on my watch. Pretty cool. Now we have these two cute little neighbors here, the Neato Smart Vacuum and the Yunmai Smart Scale. They're friends. The Smart Vacuum is very helpful because I set it usually on a schedule for the time when we're not here and she just goes, her name is Betty. I don't know if I mentioned that, her name is Betty. Or if I'm just standing here thinking, oh gee, the floor looks so dirty, I can say, <laughs> ask Nito to start cleaning. Okay, starting then. And there she goes. <laughs> Isn't she amazing? Nito to stop cleaning. Okay, or, stop cleaning. Or I can ask her to pause cleaning. Stop cleaning means she's done and she's not going to restart. Uh, and pausing means she's just pausing. And she creates this whole map of the floor. So if you're going to keep going, I would suggest pause instead of stop. Okay, this is the Yunmai Smart Scale. I step on it, it's going to tell me my weight. I can't talk to this smart scale, but it does send my weight to the Yunmai app, and I can see if my weight is going up or going down or staying the same. Uh, did I show you this camera that was recording you on the outside? This is the Yi camera, and it will follow, if it sees motion, it will follow you around, see? It's like one of those paintings where the eyes follow you around, except the eyes are really following you around and sending the video up into the cloud. This little baby is one of the ma many, many things I'm gonna set up. This is a smart air conditioner, so I can use my voice to control it. It's the high smart air connected window unit. High sense, high smart. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in a later episode. It's gonna be a challenge, I think. All right, let's go into the kitchen area. This is one of the many brains of my smart home, the Echo Show, one of my favorite devices because it has a screen. And I can ask it, <laughs> what's on my calendar today? Today there are four events remaining. Huck's Outward Bound Trip is in progress and lasts all day. Small Craft Camp is in progress and lasts all day. I can also uh, use it to make video calls with anyone I want or to drop in on Jerry's office in Twit to find out what Jerry and Anthony are doing, which is always interesting. Okay, now on to the most important smart gadget, my coffee maker. I love you. This is the Be More Smart Coffee Maker which basically you can use this button to start the coffee or you can set it on a schedule or you can set it from your app. Uh, it doesn't have voice yet, 
which is fine. Um, that button is very easy to press. This button is very easy to press. What I really like about this is I can start the coffee, go upstairs, do the stuff I need to do up there, and then it'll notify me on my watch when my coffee is ready. Uh, let's move on to the lights. When we moved into this house, it had all of this recessed lighting. So when I thought I was going to do hue lights or some other kind of smart bulbs, I added up the expense and it seemed really out of my budget. So luckily I found the Noon Smart Home Lighting System. So uh, this is also not cheap, but super useful and fun uh, and a great way to impress party guests. So this is basically the, the main place where you can um, turn off and on the lights if you don't want to use your voice or you don't want to use a nap. So I can turn them all off or I could turn them back on like a cave person or I could just say, <laughs> turn off all the lights and it works every single time right away except it didn't. Let's try it again. <laughs> Turn on all the lights. Ah. And then I can do things like <laughs> turn off the living room lights. You can also create different scenes, dim if you like a, if a certain lighting scheme for um, cocktail parties or other kinds of entertaining. You can set that up and then just ask her to play whatever scene you've named it. Noon, like I showed you, works with and it also works with Google Assistant, but it does not work with HomeKit yet. Here's our Sony TV, which is an Android TV that we have hooked up to an Apple TV, which can be confusing. <laughs> works with the Android TV, so I could say, <laughs> turn on the TV, <laughs> turn off the TV. Sorry, something went wrong. So uh, here's the Apple TV if I wanted to use that. <laughs> Turn on the TV, please. There we go. Uh, and then if I wanted to go over to the Apple TV, I just hit the menu and there it is. I love my Apple TV because I can... Sorry, something went wrong. <laughs> okay, we heard you the first time. Thank you. I can't use voice with the Android TV, but I can with the Apple TV. So I could say, open YouTube and watch the new screensavers. So, what device? There we go, and I can see our friend Flo on the new screensavers. <laughs> Stop. So, what device? If you ever feel like throwing your smart devices just out the window, just know I too have been there. There's nothing a little plug, unplug, and plug back in will it solve. You're always still in control. Know that. Ah, uh, the HomePod. I really looked forward to this device, but the truth is she just sort of sits over here gathering dust. Hey, stop. That was frightening. And I bet you're wondering how secure it is to have this device that unlocks my door right next to an open window. Well, let me show you. Say I was a criminal outside the window. Hey, <laughs> unlock the front door. I can't unlock secure accessories here. See, Apple's thought of everything. Hey, <laughs> play music. Hey, <laughs> turn it all the way up. That's very loud. Are you sure? Oh yeah, I'm sure. is my second Amazon uh, voice service device. I have three upstairs. Uh, this is the Echo Plus, and the Plus means that it has a smart hub inside. And hopefully, we already told you why you might need a smart hub and why you might not need a smart hub. Ideally, if you get this, you could just say, find my smart devices. I couldn't find any new smart home devices. I think what it's supposed to do is if you have smart bulbs anywhere or any other smart devices that aren't already connected and 
that are compatible with <laughs> then it would find them and hook them up for you. We also have echoes in every room upstairs, mostly listening to music or setting alarms or listening to flash briefings. I'll show you those another day. And now here is what powers my smart home. First, really good Wi-Fi. I have a dual band network from Sonic. I love Sonic. There's my router and my router is connected to a mesh network, the Eero. Eero is a Twit sponsor and I love them. I have this main base and then I have four Eero beacons spread all over the house, mostly upstairs, but also in the garage where the kids hang out and use a bunch of bandwidth. As we hopefully already explained to you, if you're going to not use a hub, you're gonna have to have really good Wi-Fi. So that's one reason uh, you might not need a hub if you have something like Eero or another mesh network to connect all your devices to so that you're not putting all of that pressure on your regular Wi-Fi network, especially all the streaming cameras, they take up a lot of bandwidth. I guess that is it. Everything else in my house is just dumb. Who are you calling dumb? Hey, <laughs> unlock the door. The front door reports that it's already unlocked. Oh, that's handy. So yeah, that's um, that's it. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Yeah. See you later. Hey, lock the door. I'm on. Your front door is locked. I can see you're still there. The Yee camera sees everything.